Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Poigi here. Um, had a couple questions come through on gun targeting distance. Thought it'd just be easier to show you a video to show what I'm talking about. So um, we're going to do a couple test flights. We're going to take out this Spitfire Mark 1A. It's got eight guns all mounted on the wings and we're going to try it at different gun targeting distances with our tracer ammo so that I can show you what I mean about the X. Um, so gun targeting distance is basically where you want your bullets from each of your wings to converge at what distance. So let's hop in, be easier to show you than try to explain it. So we got tracer ammo. We're gonna start off at the minimum here at a 50 meter gun targeting distance. And we're gonna go shoot down a plane and we're gonna go try and take out a ground unit. And hopefully this will make it all easy to understand. So if we look at where the tracers go, we've got 50 meter gun targeting distance. It means our wings, our, sorry, our guns on our wings are going to converge at 50 meters. So if we watch, it's really close in where that X converges into the point at 50 meters right now. So let's go ahead and reload. Let's find ourselves. Here's a few bombers. Don't care if they're green or not. So when you're going after bombers, um, the main thing is see a lot of my guns are going kind of to the side of them because I'm not close enough so if I'm at a distance out like this and I aim relatively directly at the bomber by the time my bullets get there they're on either side of them none of them are hitting them so you really would have to get close and again this is 50 meters so it's an extreme but you'd really have to get close just to get shots to start hitting and with bombers, especially when you're behind them, you don't want to do that. Their gunners are going to be all over you before you get that close. Let's take a look. If I can find a ground unit. A couple over here I saw. So we'll go after the AA. Um, I do a lot of kind of close air support and ground RP. And this is, again, why I really favor that 800 meter targeting distance. So if you were to go in against this SPAA, who's probably going to be shooting at you, and we'll start at like 800 meters, my bullets are going to the right and left of him until I get close enough to actually get some hits. And I don't want that. I want to be able to get shots into him, you know, a kilometer, over a kilometer away that are getting hits on him from the start. So that was 50 meters. That's an extreme. Let's go back to the hangar. And let's check it out at 400, and then we'll show it at 800. So back to the early Spitfire. Yeah, it's the one. So we'll do a test flight, air arcade tracers. We're going to go from 50 meter gun targeting distance, which is that convergence distance. And let's take it up to, I don't know, 300's in the middle. Let's do 300. So now if we look, they're still in X, but they're converging much further out. They're converging at 400 meters instead of 50 now. So we don't have to get as close to the bomber or as close to the ground unit to get some shots into them from both wings at the same time. Let's go set up behind a bomber. So I'll back off for a second. So now where we were hitting left and right of them before, we're actually getting shots into the bomber from this distance. Now if we shoot at the bomber in the front, by the time our bullets get there, they're a little less likely. Yeah, they're still pretty much on target. So 400's not bad. Let's check, uh, check how we do against the ground unit, and then I'll show you why I like 800 even more. So a little SPAA down here, we can start firing at like 800 or yeah, 800 meters. So they're still going right and left a little bit, but much easier to get both guns on target at the same time. And again, that convergence now we've said, set it at 400 meters. So let's go back to the hangar. And let's do it at my favorite, which is the 800. Oops, not customization. Yeah, I already know it looks silly. So test flight, and we're going to set this all the way up to 800. All 
All right, so now that convergence is so far out in front of us, you don't even really see the X anymore. This doesn't mean we can't hit a plane that's right in front of us. It's just more likely that, you know, something that's 200, 300 meters out, we're probably only going to hit with maybe one side of our guns. You might hit them with both, but what I find is when you're that close to somebody, you're chasing them, you know, within a few hundred meters, they're usually maneuvering. So I actually like the benefit of having these kind of splayed out to the right and left so that when they maneuver, I got a better chance of hitting them as they go. So we're going to give the bombers a little more distance this time because now we could say so far back that their gunners probably aren't firing at us. And if you look at where our bullets are going, not that I can hit anything. Yeah, I went too far back. Hold on. All right. Reload. All right, so we can be relatively far away and get both our guns hitting that target. And this is something that I think I said in the comments, like I've shot down planes from, you know, 1500 meters or so, like it's possible. I mean, we're talking about head on. So by the time they get to your rounds, they're closer than that. Um, but especially when we're going after AAs that are gonna be firing at us, I wanna get bullets on target as early as possible. So if we take a look at this guy, we can actually start shooting from a kilometer out and be able to put both guns on the same target from that, that distance. So we're getting a lot more rounds into them. It's much more effective. And uh, anyways, hope this helped you guys out. The one caveat is there's some German aircraft that only have a nose-mounted cannon. And those, it really doesn't matter what you put your targeting distance at because there is no convergence. Everything that you shoot goes straight out of the nose of the aircraft and it doesn't have to, you know, it doesn't make an exit all. It just goes straight. So, so hopefully you guys found this helpful. Um, essentially, I, I do prefer that 800 meter targeting distance every time. It's better for ground units. It's better for bombers. If you do like, and that's what I like, do what you want to do, do what works for you. But if you are going to have a lower gun targeting distance like 250 400 meters two suggestions don't go after bombers from the back because by the time you got both your guns hitting them they probably have shot you down um and also don't go after a's on the ground like if you're doing ground rb and somebody shooting at you they're they're likely to put their guns on target for you before you can get that convergence that's that's really going to do some hurt for them so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, just figured it was easier to show you than uh, try to explain it through the comments. I tried. I don't think I did a very good job. So I will uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you on the next one. America. Fuck yeah to save this fucking day. Yeah. Beautiful.